shapes too. There's a kind of longer spoon shaped tool, if you will, made from the same material. And also one that is more straight up and down on the sides. And then on the top it has two nodes. And that one is also very common. But I find this one is the best shape for Um, let me just say a few more things about the tool itself. Three different shapes that I have seen that seem to be traditional. And you can also get it in different types of stone. So mine is in jade. You can also get one in rose quartz, amethyst, or onyx. Jade is good for general health and good luck, balance, and harmony. Rose quartz is better for beauty, self-love, acceptance. Um, amethyst is particularly calming. centering and grounding. And then onyx is the best one to use if you have acne prone skin because it is a stone that naturally holds warmth and so as you use it, it can draw out some of those blemishes and imperfections and really um, aid your skin's health. So, Um, it is a form of, again, I guess I'll say a shorthand until I go into detail, facial massage. It's a part of traditional Chinese medicine. It's been used for a long time. It's called Gua Sha. So if you know Chinese, it's first tone, not first tone. literally translates to scrape, gua, sand, sha, so, yeah, scrape, sand, and so this practice is sometimes called scraping, which makes it sound a little painful or something, and it's definitely not, okay, um, but it's called that because it does a few things, um, which is not scraping, it doesn't scrape the skin off, but it's pushing things around your face in a healthy way to aid circulation of, of your blood and all of that. Also to drain um, your lymphatic system, which does not have a natural drain in it. So you're promoting the drainage of your lymphatic system, um, and also it just generally massages your facial muscles and relieves tension there, which I personally find so helpful. When I'm stressed, I wake up with a lot of tension in my sinuses, and I also wake up with a lot of tension here and there. Um, when I was younger, I had TMJ grind my teeth at night, and my jaw would get quite blocked sometimes. 
And I actually am meaning to ask my mother more about that because I don't remember how I fixed it at the time. It hasn't been a problem lately, the teeth grinding, but the tension has definitely um, returned a little bit this year. So I find this tool You can also use it on a body, on your body. It is used on bodies. But that is a slightly more intense process. When it's used on the body, to massage the body by a practiced technician, um, it leaves red marks, red trails, all over the back and things like that. Maybe you've seen red marks little circles on people's backs from traditional cupping where you put heat inside a cup and place it on someone's skin to pull the tension out that way because the heat will suck the skin up a little bit and then when you remove the cups um, there are red marks there, right? so this is not from cups but it's a similar kind of process it doesn't hurt per se but it leaves like these red marks from where you've worked the stone On your face, however, it does not leave any marks. You may get a little flush because, again, you're stimulating your facial blood circulation, but um, you, you don't get any kind of marks, the likes of which you would get with use of the gua sha on the body. So, um, what else do I want to say before we get started? Mm. There are certain ways to do it because you are following the lymphatic system in your face, also facial muscles, of which we have so many, and also um, the lymphatic. Oh, and then also acupuncture meridians. Um, so there are certain directions you want to go in. However, when you are developing your gua sha routine, you in my opinion, and the opinions of other people do. You should do what feels nice for you. So if you find as you are going through your gua sha routine that something feels particularly good and is relieving a lot of tension for you, you can stay there, do it more, and um, really reap those benefits for yourself. The whole thing is supposed to feel good to you. In the same way that when you get a, you know, a western or something, or like a massage from like Massage Envy that, um, you know, some people have certain areas of the body they want to work on more because they hold more tension there. So, it's up to you. That said, I do recommend looking into it a little bit to get an idea of the directions you're supposed to go, and I will show you some of that. You can't see my whole face, of course, so I'll go over each of the moves briefly now, and then I will do them. Um, I start by going down my neck from my lymph nodes, like that. That makes a nice sound. Then I come to my face, so I go up on my forehead, like this. You can go in a fan shape out from the center of your forehead, in between your eyes, in a fan shape. But I go up between my eyes with this flat part, which is the same one I'm using here. Like that. I go up between my eyes, and then I also just go straight across, right above my eyebrows. So, you can also do a fan shape. Then I take this long side here and I go like this all the way to my ear, kind of work my way down my cheek, pulling up to my ear. When you're doing at the very top, you want to be careful with your eye skin to not pull it too hard, but otherwise you're great. Um, and then I go from this point of my chin up to my ear. These notes on either side of my ear, where my jaw kind of meets my ear, feels really good. So I kind of like 
work it in there, massage it to relieve some more tension. Then I go across my lips to relieve tension in my mouth. And then I press just the flat side here to my eyes to debuff them and just um, get a little bit of that cooling sensation from the jade on them. And finally, with both hands on either side of the tool, I press it to my third eye just to relieve some tension there that kind of trickles down and relieves tension in my sinuses. My sinuses. My sinuses. I do each of these moves ten times, basically. So, the thing is, you never do it on a dry face. You're always going to want some kind of lotion or oil on your face. Um, facial oil is preferable, of course, so you don't break out. So I'm just going to clip my hair back, put a little oil on my face and my neck, and then I'll go through it with you and do ten strokes in each of these places. I didn't pull a hair clip out, so I'm reaching for it behind my uh, computer. I'm just going to clip my hair back a little bit. So you want your hair out of the way, and also you want to do this on a clean face. I have no makeup on except for my lipstick, obviously, and then I have a little blemish on my chin that I have concealer on just because it's quite red. To be perfectly honest, I was picking at my face again, which is something Okay, so I put my hair up. I'm going to take a makeup wipe, just take off my lipstick and this concealer here, and um, then we'll get started. So, I'll makeup wipe. Like I said, the rest of my face is clean. Just take off this lipstick, which, by the way, is. Um, Barb from Bite Beauty. I think they might, I'm not up to date on stuff, but I think they might still be reformulating all their lipsticks to be vegan. I'm so I'm not sure if it's available, but it's a great color. And my mic is kind of close to me, so if I make any I'm just going down from my lymph node. You can do, I don't know, I'm already flushed, but you can do the back of your neck as well. While I'm talking, I can't really keep track of the strokes, the number of strokes. I typically do 10. And I know some people do it while they watch TV, while they're watching Netflix. I prefer to do it in a more meditative way, but you can really do it however you want. So you can do it every day, or even every other day, or with once a week. You The 
sometimes I use my fingers to hold the rest of the skin just to get like a deeper massage but again, this shouldn't hurt you're just doing a little like enough pressure that you feel it Now I'm dragging it um, over, essentially over my eyebrow, so to the right of my forehead. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but that's the stone over my eyebrow. And then I like to do it with my right hand, so this looks weird to you maybe, but I just am holding the other um, And above my right eyebrow, I'm going to drag this over my left. I have a firmer grip with my right hand, so. Then I'm going to take this broad side and I run it like up here, like this. So. And then I'm just kind of going, try not to hit the mic, I'm just kind of going up to my ear. And gentle when you go over all your skin, but especially the skin by your eyes. There have been so many sounds tonight. It's really wild. I don't know what's going on because it's a Sunday. I think I should be able to This, I think you just do it whichever way feels better to you, which for me is with the longer node under my jaw. So, fitting your chin into this nook and running this up along your jaw to your ear where you can work it in here to get like a little tension. can't really talk during this one because it's on my jaw. But again, it's just you're not doing it hard enough that you really need to hold your skin, but I just kind of do this to center what I'm doing. And I've seen other people do it that way as well. So and you, when you get up here, you can do like a little wiggling. spend some time here often because I often have quite a lot of tension there. And then again, I go like this just because my right hand is stronger, not quite as ambidextrous as I would like to be. So running up and going here. Run like this here, and then you're going like this, just kind of massaging behind your ear, which feels nice, but also here where your jaw meets. Then, this one I do definitely hold my face. <laughs> Probably looks strange, but it feels great because like up here for sure, and around here. I'll just do this one a little bit because I, I know my lips are like <laughs> quite big. It feels really good. And then I'm going to just press it to my eyes just to get like a little coolness there. Um, just gently on my eyeball, essentially, with, of course, my eyelid closed. Um, but also the skin below my eye. Just kind of depuff it. You can depuff it even more if you put this somewhere cool before using it. 
and then I press it like this to my third eye and I just do some like deep breathing when I do this by myself that's about it so I wasn't as focused doing it with you just because I wanted to talk you through it but that is essentially it has helped me a lot. I also have been using it. I don't want to use it too much on my body um, because I'm not trained in that and it's much more intense on your body when you really go for it. But I, well, I use it on my neck, sometimes the back of my neck as well. And then my face, of course, and then this meaty part my hand gets really tired from all my work, which um, requires a lot of typing and things like that. So I'll push this up just to like get, promote circulation to my fingertips, which is I believe how you typically massage a hand, like western style. And that too feels really good without putting that much pressure stone because it's a hard stone of course with rounded edges but you really don't have to put that much pressure on it to get a fairly deep massage you can use this point in here I can't tell you how tired my hands get so I really enjoyed that as well this one here is from herbivore because it was the easiest one for me to get herbivore, herbivore. but I am um, my friend has one from Mount Lai Lai, L-A-I, L-A-I, L-A-I And as far as I can tell, that's a pretty cool business because I believe it's women-led and I believe they're Asian women um, And this is a traditional Chinese medicine practice So um, I would love to support them If I get another one, I would definitely get it from them I hope you enjoyed this video I am by no means an expert. I've just done a lot of research, but if you have any questions, just let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer. I have found it to be a very grounding practice, not only relieving tension and kind of self-massage, but also a great vehicle for mindfulness. Mindfulness, self-care, what else could you want, you know? I hope you are doing super, super well. Super, super well. And I will see you very